Is it a crime to have a fake ID on me? And what level? Is it a misdemeanor? Is it a felony? Listen to Immigration and Criminal Defense Wednesdays to learn a little bit about this potential crime. Hi, I'm attorney Jeff Peek with the Peek and Tone Law Firm. And I remember when I was in college, everybody who was 19, 20, wanted to go out to the bars, had to find a way to get in, right? Because they would check IDs at the door. And so everybody started looking to get a fake ID. It could be a fake ID they got down at the, at the pawn, not the pawn shop, the, the flea market. Or more, more common, they would get an ID of somebody else, a friend, an older a brother, a sister who's already turned 21. There was an entire market of trading license, driver's licenses of people who were 21 to younger people so they could get into bars. And I may or may not have had one myself in my wallet at one point in time in order to gain access. And I can tell you right now, as a 20 year old, just looking to have a good time, go out to bars, never thought once that, hey, I might be committing a felony. Well, lo and behold, I go on to get a law degree, start practicing criminal offense, and come to find out that having the ID of somebody else in your wallet, if they can prove that you have intention to commit a, a fraud, could be potentially a felony, right? It's one thing to have it in your wallet, or just have the document, that, that itself could be just a misdemeanor, but if you're actually using the document, uh, or if you're using a fake social security card, that actually can jump it up to a felony. And so a lot of college students out there every day, you know, or every weekend going out, having a good time, not really potentially by doing this, they are committing a felony. Now, does that mean the police are gonna charge them? A lot of times people get caught in bars with these on them, coming in a lot of times the bouncer themselves will just uh, say that's not you and take the license from them. And a lot of time it's kind of a no harm, no foul. But just beware, you, you could very easily find yourself in the back of a squad car, going down, get booked into jail, having to make a phone call to mom and dad, say, hey, I've been charged with a felony using a fake ID. Uh, hopefully you can find a good attorney in that situation. Hopefully you're in a jurisdiction where the prosecutors will be reasonable, find a way to get that dismissed instead of having a felony on your record, even have to take a conviction or do probation or anything like that. Uh, but I just wanted you to have that information because if you're like me, just young and having a good time, you're not even thinking about that. And it's actually a crime here in Texas anyways. Uh, and it can be a misdemeanor just to have it in your wallet, on your person. And then if you're actually in the process of using that document, uh, that could be a felony. That means if you're somehow in this country undocumented and you don't have a social security number and you decide to buy a social security number or use somebody else's social security number, every time you use that social security number, you're actually in the action of committing a felony. Now it may not be your intent to defraud that person. You're not trying to necessarily take money from them or utilize their identity in a way that would harm them. You're not even thinking about that. You're saying, I just wanna to go to work. Uh, but you could be charged with that. And I've seen that on many, many cases here in my own office where people get arrested, they end up finding a fault, face, fake social security number or social security number that is not of that person and they'll end up charging them with a felony. So try to avoid these things if you can. If you find yourself in trouble, please call an attorney like us that handle these things. We get them dismissed. Uh, we are able to do that uh, depending on the circumstances. Uh, hopefully we can help you in your time of need as well. Uh, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next week.